Okay, this video uh, features my DX5E transmitter and just a quick show and tell on the chain link dare system that I have rigged up to it. Um, and of course the chain link dare receiver which is here. Um, so the DX5E is able to tap into the um, the control signal before it hits the uh, 2.4 gigahertz transmitter in the radio which is still intact but that trainer port is uh, bust out here um, and uh, and to this circuit board here which is which is bringing power in using that switch um, to bring power uh, to the chain link there and um, direct that PPM signal uh, into the chain link there from the DX5E. Um, so I can still use the DX5E, the spectrum transmitter, in its normal 2.4 gigahertz mode just by using the power button as normal. So that's transmitting in 2.4 gigahertz now. And by turning on the, uh, <clears throat> the PPM circuit, um, it actually fires up the control radio. The 2.4 gigahertz radio inside the controller is not activated, but I have the PPM signal going out of the controller and routed into the chain link DARE UHF transmitter um, with that same switch. And so um, I've just got a just a sort of a makeshift uh, dipole antenna there, and uh, and of course my uh, chain link dare receiver here. And so that's all ready to go, ready for my long range system. And uh, since I've got a 2.4 gigahertz uh, video transmitter. I opted for the uh, UHF transmitter. I was getting um, just horrible range um, trying to run the uh, 2.4 gigahertz video transmitter and of course 2.4 gigahertz um, spectrum uh, control link up. So I um, went with the chain link there on that which was 433 megahertz which doesn't interfere with the, the video signal at all. That's it.